As in other countries, the coronavirus outbreak has forced South Korea's performing arts venues to close down. So concerts, plays and musicals are going online. This has been good for audiences at home, but it's a big challenge for the industry. Park Se-young has more. This sound recording studio is busy ahead of a live streaming on YouTube. Seoul Arts Center has decided to extend its online streaming services, launched as part of its social distancing campaign, after it received positive responses and its highlights of The Man Who Laughs received 150,000 concurrent views. It usually takes more than three days to shoot and more than four to five months for post-production. Cross-cutting edits of multiple shots heightens realism. By combining VR technology and high-definition resolution, the live experience can be delivered to some 33 million YouTube users in Korea. However, online performances have been limited to national art establishments like the Sejong Center for the Performing Arts and Gyeonggi Arts Center. Since building a YouTube channel and filming and editing performances comes with high cost but little to no profit, it's difficult for small production companies to join in. This shows the need for online performance policies based on distribution networks and profit-making models. A complete change of ideas is required. We also need to build a digital archive, and detailed concerns about how to measure sales and share profits should follow. The performing industry has found its way through online performances, but it now needs to discuss ways to turn the crisis into an opportunity by building a competitive platform. Park Se-young, Arirang News.